Hey Flash Math, I'm here at the happiest place on earth, Disneyland, and today I'll be showing you ways to use math to get the most out of your day here at Disney. So let's go! Now, while I wait in line, I'm going to show you a few ways to calculate how long it takes for you to stand in line. All you're going to need to know is how much the ride can fit inside of one hour, how many people want to ride the up ride inside of an hour, and a few other things. What else do we need? No, no many years, but let's get started. Now it's our job to figure out the hourly rate for each ride, so let's ask around. Do you know the average wait time? Do you? Does anybody know the average wait times? Well, that didn't work, so let's just go to the math. So let's take a ride like Pirates, which has an hourly wait time of actually only 45 minutes, and a ride like Peter Pan, which could have an hourly wait time of an hour and a half. Does this mean that Peter Pan is twice as popular as Pirates because the wait time is twice as long? Well, actually, no. What we need to use is our formula for the hourly wait time to figure out what the actual wait time is going to be. So the average wait time per hour breaks down like this. The number of people during an hour minus the ride's hourly capacity. You're going to subtract that from that and then Notice how it changes based on the ride. You're going to take this one right here, and we're going to call this guy X. So the number of people who want to go during an hour, subtract the ride's hourly capacity, we're going to call that X. Then you'll take this X and divide it by the hourly capacity. That's right, you're going to use this number twice. So when you divide it by the hourly capacity, then you're going to want to multiply it by 60, which is the number of minutes in an hour, and you'll get your average wait time. So you want to take the number of people who want to go during an hour, subtract the ride's hourly capacity, take that whole number, divide it by the hourly capacity, multiply that by 60, and you'll get the number of minutes. Now I've taken three different rides, and I've broken down their hourly capacity. I've got Pirates, Space Mountain, and I've got Peter Pan. Pirates has an hourly capacity of about 3,000. Space Mountain has an hourly capacity of about 2,000. And Peter Pan has an hourly capacity of about 575 people that can ride the ride. Let's do some examples. Let's take a ride like Space Mountain. Now we know that Space Mountain has an hourly capacity of 2,000 people. But if 4,500 people want to ride it in one hour, we need to take this number and subtract it from the hourly capacity that can fit in the ride. We know that our capacity is 2,000, so 4,500 minus 2,000 will leave us with 2,500 people that need to wait in line. Then we need to take this and divide it by the hourly capacity, remember, it's 2,000, and when we do that, we're going to end up with 1.25. That's how long we're going to need to wait. Then you want to multiply this by 60 for the number of minutes, to convert it to minutes, excuse me, and you're going to end up with 75 minutes for wait time. That means if 45 people, 4,500 people want to ride Space Mountain in one hour, you'll be waiting 75 minutes. Now let's look at Peter Pan. In Peter Pan, we know that a thousand people could want to ride Peter Pan in an hour, but it only has the hourly capacity of about 575. So we take this 1,000 people, we subtract the 575 and we end up with a difference of 425 people that need to wait in line. We want to take this 425 people, divide it by the 575 hourly capacity, and we're going to end up with about 0.74. And again, I'm rounding a little bit here. Multiply this 0.74 by 60 for the number of minutes, and you'll be waiting about 45 minutes for a thousand people in one hour to ride Peter Pan. Well, that's it for me. I gotta go catch a ride. See you next time.